So Kentucky Tea Party will do an ounce and a half of the Tacana Grey. Do three quarter ounce of uh, cucumber syrup. Take a sniff there, do a chartreuse rinse. What she said about you wasn't true. Oh, she split me wide open, didn't she? So, bananas for ransom, a Mai Tai but with rye. So, have an ounce and a half of Tacana Grai. Do an ounce of fresh lime. Classic Orgit, half ounce. So, instead of orange curacao, we're gonna split it between banana liqueur and this Amer. Similar to Mary Picon, uh, Bijelet. It has bitter orange notes to it. Sweetness as well. Grated nutmeg, tiki bitters, pulls it all together, good baking spice.
great. So Lion's Tail, classic cocktail, uh, kind of long forgotten, but works really great with bourbon. It's very heavy allspice, which surprised me in the beginning, but the flavors just really work together. So you're an ounce and a half of taconic bourbon. You're a half ounce of simple syrup. Three quarter ounce of lime. Half the allspice. Nice and chilled. That's it. Line stuff. That's a legit container right there. So rum old fashioned, using taconic rum. Classically with whiskey, we're gonna play around with the ingredients a little bit. So instead of just using classic simple to highlight the nuances of the rum, switch it for a uh, Madagascar vanilla bean syrup. Get it nice and chilled. Sometimes you're going to add the bitters in the cocktail when you're making it. Sometimes you're going to put it on top, depending on what you're really looking to go for. So in this cocktail, you really want the uh, the aromatics, so the bitters are using. So it's going to go right on top of my pour. Large cube, keep it chill. Minimal dilution. Orange oil, do a little orange bitters. And we're gonna use mole. That, less. Classic maraschino, rum old fashioned. Okay, so uh, first off, thank you very much for um, coming in today and, and allowing us to come in and craft some amazing cocktails with our spirits. You have exceeded all of my expectations. You really did some amazing oh, twists on, on, I just, I, I didn't expect it. So, um, you know, the lion's tail, the uh, tea party, the rum old fashioned, and the bananas for ransom uh, just were fantastic. And I know there's a whole list of cocktails here that you didn't even get into um, that people can come in and, and try for themselves. So can you tell me a little bit about McKinney and Doyle, where you're located and all that? Yeah, so we're right in, uh, right in the village of Pauling, okay. New York. Um, the bakery attached, been here since 86. Okay. Uh, expanded with this 14 seat bar in 2011. Um, which really helped gain some notoriety for you know the program that we're doing here with our, our spirits um, and our cocktails and it's just been great to be able to you know enhance people's minds and experiences you know through classic cocktail culture yeah and it really is that's the there's really an experience when you come in here and I've been to a lot of places and um, 
this is really a gem um, that's um, that's getting more and more known. Um, but you're just doing amazing cocktails here. Uh, it really is artwork. Um, and so McKinney and Doyle, it's Pauling, New York. Yeah. Um, and uh, located on your online as well. Yeah. Yep. It's McKinneyDoyle.com. That's great. Um, and. So let me ask you this: What's your favorite cocktail to make? My favorite cocktail, yeah, hands down, probably a Boulevardier. Boulevardier, okay. Um, and how did you get your start in the cocktail industry? Um, through McKinney and Doyle, through uh, just playing around with flavors. Wow. Yeah. And it just grew from there. And you weren't you in a very big competition in in New York City? Uh, yeah, I did Diageo World Class. Wow. And how did that go? It was great. That was just the, the most educating experience that I could ever uh, have asked for. It really helped to, to push me even further into it and hone my skill and you know educate myself as much as I could. That's great. And uh, cocktail you refuse to make? Cocktail I refuse to make? Yeah. If the customer asks for it, my goal is to, to make them happy. It's okay. hospitality first. So. Okay, good. And uh, strangest ingredient that you have here behind the bar that you work with? Oh wow, I mean, we've had a lot, um, some crazy different herbs, um, tarragon, uh, sweeteners like panela, uh, piloncillo, um, tecajote is a fruit we've used behind the bar, which oh, wow. is native to the mountains of Mexico, so. Wow. Well cool, well there you have it, it's um, McKitty and Doyle, Paul in New York, uh, is featuring uh, Taconic uh, products here. Uh, incredible cocktails, must come down, must see, must experience, because that's truly what it is when you come here. It really is an experience. So thank you. Thank yeah, you very much. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. See you. Thank you. Cheers. Day to day, where do you want to be? Now you're trying to pick a fight